Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Megan O'Levy, and I am just so thrilled to be joined by two incredibly talented, powerful women. I mean, starting with Academy Award winner and star of Netflix's new film, The Old Guard, Charlize Theron. Hey, Charlize, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. This is amazing. And also joining us, the former UFC strawweight champion and the number two ranked contender in the world, Rose Nama Yunus. This yeah. is just a bow down to you, Rose. Um, oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we were talking off camera and you, you were so complimentary of Rose and you were, you were a fan yourself and we've seen you octagon side so many times. I mean, what drew you into the UFC and, and really what draws you into Rose and her fighting style? Uh, I was introduced uh, to the sport by a woman. Um, my best friend, uh, Beth Kona, who happens to also be my producing partner, and she's a producer on Old Guard. And she she was having a night at her house, and I grew up with boxing. My dad was like a big boxing fan, so I real I like I love extreme sports, and have always had a real appreciation for the dedication that goes into um, that as an art form. So, but I didn't know any, I didn't know much about MMA. I, I was a fan of uh, martial arts, but she said, just come, you're gonna love, she was already a huge fan. So I went <laughs> to her house and, and my life has never been the same. <laughs> I mean, seriously, I, the hairs in the back of my neck stand up when these fights uh, get closer. I get so excited. There's like a part of me where I can feel like my own heart, like skipping beats for the fighters. <laughs> Uh, like I'm worried for Rose, like I'm so excited. And yet there's like this mother in me that's like, I'm gonna f up that person who's gonna hurt you. Um, but I, that's how I became a fan. I was a, my career started as a ballerina. So I think there's a lot of similarities in martial arts and, and classical ballet, the, the discipline and the hours that you have to put in and you've got to put your head down and just do the work. And I, I, I really connect with the sport on that level. And also just the mental capacity that you have to have to push through, to push your body and your mind to a place that normal people never experience. Yeah, I mean, Rose, what's it like for you to, to hear those kind of comments from somebody who won an Academy Award right now? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's cool that um, you mentioned ballet because like growing up, I. Um, I was always around the arts and I went to a performing arts high school and I had a lot of um, friends that were dancers and ballet dancers and just all around dancers. And yeah, I would, I would agree actually. Like I feel martial mixed martial arts is so unique because there's so many different elements combined into one, not just a sport, but also I do feel like it is, is an art form. Um, but it's kind of cool because I, yeah, like I, I would agree. I think that the, the biggest comparison or common ground between ballet and fighting is both feet are messed up. Like <laughs> just some <laughs> of the stuff that the ballet ballerinas do where they stand on their toes. Like that's terrible. <laughs> I know it was like listening to you talk about fighting with broken toes and stuff like that. And I was like, Oh my God. Yeah. Nancy with broken toes. It's a, <laughs> yeah yeah they say you don't you never really kickbox if you don't break a toe so yeah <laughs> and, and listen rose i completely agree with you it is an art form it is an art form yeah. that serves all the respect that other art forms get it, if not more i couldn't agree with you more yeah that's so great. super cool <laughs> Rose, did you watch action movies growing up? Like, were you somebody, I know you've done martial arts since you were like five. Did you ever watch any action movies and think like, okay, I, I want to do that when I get older? So I, um, I've always, I, I was a huge like Dragon Ball Z fan growing up. So I like, I would watch, I would get off of school and then I would go watch the Dragon Ball Z at like uh, my like step grandma's house and then I go to Taekwondo practice right after that. So I think that really instilled like a huge, um, just like the martial artist in me, it really like brainwashed me to just <laughs> keep doing that and like overcome my, you know, my fears, but also like make me stronger and everything like that. Um, but the true movie buff in his house is like my fiance, Pat, like he's, he's all about the movies. Um, he watched every Van Damme movie and all that stuff <laughs> to me. Um, yeah, I, I, I've always, uh, there, there was a period of time where I was like into 
uh, like a small period of time where I was into um, like modeling and acting and things like that. And then sports kind of just took over, but you know, maybe we'll make our way back around. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, you, you certainly are going to have to watch The Old Guard now because um, I yeah. just watched it last night, and it was, it was so good. It's like an action thriller, and Charlize, you play Andy, and she's like, I feel like she's just the epitome of a fighter. I mean, what else can you tell us about your character in this movie? Uh, yeah, I play Andy, who uh, has lived for over 6,000 years. <laughs> she might have been the first human. Oh, wow. Sorry, Lucy. Um, uh, it's... Um, the Old Guard is based off a graphic novel um, written by Greg Rucka. And um, it really is a story about this extraordinary team of mercenaries um, um, and a group of immortals um, who can't die and they have healing powers, but also they can die. <laughs> they just don't know when, but they live for a very, very long time. But every time they go into battle, there's there is um, the anxiety of like, well, this, this could be it. This could be the time that I die, not knowing when it's going to happen. Uh, and Andy is, uh, she's the oldest and she's kind of the leader of the group. And in our story, we meet a new one uh, played by Kiki Lane, uh, who's a, um, a character who uh, finds her immortality as the story kind of takes place. Niall and Andy on the plane was amazing. That scene, I mean, it's just such a, a, a beautiful film, but that scene, I was like, this is crazy. I mean, watching, <laughs> watching the, the stunts that you guys did. I mean, I know you take a lot of pride in your preparation. I mean, I, I heard this one was just like a really grueling regimen to prepare um, for this film. I mean, what was the training like? Uh, yeah, you have to, you know, if you want to, I, I highly recommend that if you take on the genre, you should like it. You should love it. There should be a part of you that gr gets gratification from working your body hard because it is, it's like five hours in the gym every day. And uh, I had to get really good on a horse and fighting on a horse, which, you know, I'm not great, uh, a great That's horse hard. rider. Um, I had to learn a lot of uh, weapon skills, ancient weapon skills. But, um, you know, I the problem with this was in my other action movies, there was a level of skill, uh, but always, I could always kind of rely on just getting scrappy, you know, <laughs> like Lorraine and Atomic Blonde, you know, at one point she's like, you know, throwing pots and fighting with a hose and she's scrappy like that. Uh, <laughs> but with Andy, the narrative of her character, of her story was that she's lived and she's a uh, Rose, just close your ears. I don't want you to hear this. Uh, she is a skilled ma ma martial arts fighter in all martial arts. I mean, come on. Like, it's so ridiculous <laughs> to even say that. I know that. <laughs> it was an incredible team. Um, Danny Hernandez was my fight coordinator in this. He is the guy responsible for a lot of the John Wick films. And he just did an assessment with me and just figured out what my strengths were and built on my strengths and instead of you know, trying to fit a circle into a square um, and trained me as in as many uh, forms. And I'm talking about like 1%, like two or three moves in karate, judo, uh, Krav Maga, even fencing, Aikido, Jiu-Jitsu, um, military combat. But we just tried to focus on two or three moves that I could really to hone in on the technical aspect because Andy is not a scrappy fighter. She's a very skilled fighter. And that was probably the hardest part. My, a lot of my feedback was like, make it look easier. And I was like, it's not easy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I feel like you're talking to the right person in Rose, though, to make it look easy. Because when she gets in the octagon, I mean, it, she blows us away. I feel like with every performance, you're like, how, how is this possible? It, it seems perfect. I mean, Rose, in terms of preparing for this highly, highly anticipated rematch with Jessica, what have you really been doing and, and how have you prepared for this one? Yeah, um, kind of just, you know, patching up the holes that I felt like I had in my game. Um, really just instead of it um, really focusing on making martial arts a lifestyle rather than just, you know, um, this is just the fight that I'm preparing for, like falling in love with martial arts again, because it's like the first thing that I fell in love with. So <laughs> um, that's that's really been the focus. And making sure that I'm mastering myself, you know, um, because 
there's so many variables in this game that you can't control. Um, so w rather than focusing on an opponent or, you know, focusing on, you know, the location, cause you know, now we're in a pandemic, so that's even crazier and there's even more variables. So it's just been about controlling myself and, uh, making sure that I'm the best version of me that's possible. And speaking of that, you know, with MMA, it's such a tough sport. I mean, usually a fighter goes into competition with some sort of bumps and bruises and stuff. How do you make sure that you have the right mindset to kind of push through that and, and have the adversity when you need it? Well, um, yeah, that's kind of a tough one because I've always just, um, uh, there's, it, you just, you kind of like don't really know what you're made of until you're tested. Um, I always was the type of person, like even before I started mixed martial arts and I was into like Taekwondo and all that stuff when I was young. But when I first learned that, um, you know, kickboxers, Muay Thai kickboxers, they kick each other and they check with their shin and that's how you block. I thought to myself, I could never do something like that. That would hurt so bad. Cause you, you know, when you bump your shin on something and it's like, ah, you know, um, that's like the worst pain ever. But <laughs> I think in the moment, you know, that like adrenaline takes over and actually it's kind of crazy because you almost like sometimes in certain fights, I will be so pain tolerant of things that it can be a negative sometimes where I'll be getting hit in the body and it's like, I'm not, I don't feel it, but it's like, well, it is physically draining. So you just have to know it just through experience, you know, I've been hit in the eyes where my eyes were like cross-eyed for like a whole round. And then I had to like, you know what I mean? Like get it together and, and fight like almost blind, you know, um, before. So it's just one of those things where you, you worry about it, but then once you get into that, to that moment, um, it's just kind of like you either got it or you don't, you know? <laughs> That's what makes you a champion. I mean, Charlize, when you, when you do your stunts and when you're preparing for these, you know, very physical roles, have you ever had moments where there's been injuries or something has sidelined you or something's happened on set that you've had to kind of push through? Yeah, but literally in comparison, it's so, I, <laughs> so stupid, even like a little injury. Um, it's embarrassing. Uh, I, yeah, I mean, I, I, I almost paralyzed myself on the first action movie that I made. I, I did a back handspring and I landed on my neck. And so, you know, this, that was a great lesson for me and kind of really listening to my body and knowing my strengths. And when I made that movie, I really didn't have that knowledge. And so, you know, I had no business doing back handsprings. I'm not a gymnast. And to <laughs> imagine that I could be doing that is just stupid. But I, on this film, uh, when we were three weeks out from wrapping the film, I was fighting a pretty big dude and my thumb got stuck in his vest. I was like grabbing him oh. and my thumb got stuck in his wardrobe and he turned and he bent my thumb all the way back and I, I tore uh, the tendon off my bone. But I'm a little bit like Rose, like I don't, like my pain tolerance, when I'm, when the adrenaline is going and I'm like into what I'm doing, I'm not paying too much attention to it. I had a couple of moments where I was almost brought to tears. And so I knew it was something bad, but at the time I couldn't really mentally go there because we still had three weeks of shooting. And right. the end action sequence with everything on horseback was to follow. So I fought on horseback riding with my left hand and no thumb. Like I couldn't use my thumb at all. It was just like floating. Uh, <laughs> and then I, I came back and ended up having three surgeries uh, on my left arm. But I know I do on the most minute level. I just, I do understand that feeling where you're like, you just have to do what you have to do. Like you mentally just know you can't give in to even considering that there's an issue or like thinking about it. Um, but my God, I just want to hear more of your stories, Rose. I, I'm, I'm embarrassed to share my stories. Well, you know, it's funny because like there's certain times where something could be so um, just overwhelming. Like, like when you hear like the actual like injury, it's like, oh my God, that's terrible. But then, you know, certain things like this little breast burn on my knuckle, that could be the worst thing that just distracts you and is like the worst pain ever. And um, so, yeah, it's just, it kind of, it's just funny how like your mind is, you know, works like that. Sometimes you just 
you, you know, there's like a threshold of, of pain tolerance and based on a situation and based on what's going on. So it's really, it is really interesting. That's why I love like delving into the mental side of, of this whole, of, of just life, but in martial arts in general, because it really, uh, you're really surprised at what you can tolerate and what you can't tolerate sometimes. I think that speaks volumes to both, uh, both of you, how powerful you both are. Um, and I appreciate the pain that you both go through because at the end of the day, it's, it's for <laughs> our entertainment. So thank you for that. And speaking of entertainment, um, definitely go check out the old guard on Netflix. It's out now. It is incredible. And make sure you watch Rose fight at UFC 251 this Saturday, right here on fight Island. Charlize, I know you're excited for it. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs>